Welcome back everyone. My name is Jeff. I'm the Backyard Builder. Today I'm going to show you how I built this uh, shed foundation for right around a hundred dollars. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The shed I'm getting, uh, it's coming in a few days. It's a seven foot by seven foot shed, which means that the base is going to be really easy because most lumber comes in eight foot lengths. That's the most common length to get lumber in. So I can just get four eight foot long four by four posts and the seven by seven shed will fit perfectly in there. The reason I didn't just butt the joints up against each other and put a long screw all the way through these posts is because then the force that would be on this screw would be pulling and over time that screw would just get pulled out of the end of that post whereas if I do half lap joints and then I put the screws in through the top whichever way the force is coming in no matter which one of the two posts is pulling the force is still perpendicular to the screw which makes a much stronger joint and will last way longer now these half lap joints take a little bit more work to uh, get them prepared but because they're so much stronger I think it's definitely worth it in the end so the first step in making these half lap joints is I mark off a three and a half inch by three and a half inch square on the end of one of the posts because four by four posts are actually three and a half by three and a half inches So what I do is I mark off my three and a half inch by three and a half inch square and I take my circular saw and I just make a whole bunch of cuts through that square trying to cut away as much material as I can and just leaving thin little slivers that I can easily snap off either by hand or with a chisel. And then this usually leaves a bunch of little stubs which then I can chisel away <clears throat> and make it roughly smooth. It's not. I'm not doing any fine woodworking here, I'm just making a border for a shed outside, so I'm not worried about it being super exact, I'm just getting the rough shape. So I cut away this material on the both ends of each post, so I have to do this eight times. And then once I have it all cut away, I test fit it over where I'm going to put the shed, and I put it all together to see how the, uh, the half lap joints hold up and how they fit together. I think a few of them I had to uh, touch up a little bit and cut a little bit deeper just so it was perfect. Um, and as I was laying this out, this showed me how the ground was not perfectly level and where I would have to uh, dig in a little bit, where I'd have to build up the ground, just kind of showing me how level the ground is. So after I lay out my four timbers, I mark with a square shovel the border, and then I start digging up the grass. Uh, you don't want to just put the gravel directly on top of the grass, because then it kills the grass and it starts to rot and it... It's just not, not great. Whereas if I dig up the grass, it's easier to level, it's healthier for the ground, and then I can use that grass elsewhere. I have some bare spots around the yard, and I'm gonna try and fill some of those in with the grass I take out of this square here. After I remove all the grass, I chop at the dirt that's in the square with a spade, just to try and loosen it up a little bit, make it less hard and compact, that way it's easier to level out with a rake and I won't have to do as much work leveling with the gravel, hopefully. Once I have that loosely chopped up and leveled, uh, I begin transporting the gravel. That's the most uh, physically taxing part of this whole process. 
My neighbor said I could borrow his wheelbarrow, but then he forgot to leave the wheelbarrow out, so it looks like I'm going to be doing this whole thing by hand with five gallon buckets. So that'll be fun. A few more trips, same amount of gravel, way more tiring. <laughs> I think in total I took somewhere between 20 and 30 trips with two five gallon buckets. So I'm moving five, uh, ten gallons of gravel at a time, and I ordered a metric ton. Okay, so now let's break down the cost of this project. I got four 4x4 four four posts from Home Depot for about $20 a piece, which adds up to $80. And then the gravel itself was only $20. $20 for a metric ton of gravel. So that was actually way cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Though I've never ordered gravel before, so I didn't really know what to expect. But I wasn't expecting it to be that cheap. Now, the gravel delivery was $40 because I don't have... Uh, a truck or a trailer or anything to transport the gravel myself. So I had to have it delivered, which was kind of ironic because the delivery cost twice as much as the gravel itself. But anyways, <laughs> I had built this eight foot by eight foot shed foundation for exactly a hundred dollars. I hope you enjoyed watching me build this shed foundation. And uh, if you did, please like this video and Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything except for having to put up with me. So, you know, if you don't want to, I, I understand. I'm a pretty uh, strange person. I'm a bit of an acquired taste. And if you like the way I did this project where I break down the cost of the project as well as showing you how to do it, please let me know. That way I can give you an idea of how much this kind of project would cost if you decide to take it on. But otherwise... Subscribe.